Now let's get up to speed with Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds! The Fortune Cup? Yeah! It's this big tournament between a bunch of people Kaiba Corp randomly selected. And hey, get this! They selected me! I'm gonna be in it! Actually, they selected me. Uh, Technically, they selected Luna, uh, but she's too scared to enter, so I'm gonna pretend to be her and enter and then win that thing! Delivery for Mr. Yusei Fudo. We'd like for you to participate in the Fortune Cup. If you refuse, the four people you see in that photograph will pay the penalty for the rogue actions you took in obtaining that runner. Have a good evening. <laughs> the Black Rose is no legend. She's the most amazing duelist ever. Her cards come alive. There's a rumor going around saying she's gonna pop up at the street duels today. Hey, Jack. I heard you'll be at the Fortune Cup. Word gets around fast. I got a deal for you, you say. For your Stardust Dragon. You add it to your deck. Win, and then you can keep the card. I win, I get it, and then you and me are straight. It's Black Rose! <laughs> <laughs> Whose dragon is that? The Black Rose is real! I made sure the Black Rose got the invitation. She'll be dueling here along with Yusei. <laughs> then all is going as planned. Soon the Crimson Dragon will rise, and Yusei will fall. the makeup should go. Okay, but only if you tell me your name. But you'll find out soon enough. Awesome! I bet it's really cool! There's something up with this whole fortune cup thing. Be careful, you say. Watch your back. Duelists, young and old, professional and amateur alike, put your hands together for our Master of Ceremonies, Director Rex Goodwin! Red Dragon Archfiend has taken to the skies. You know what that means. Let's hear it for the reigning champion, the king of the cards, the one man who rules the duels, the master of faster himself, Jack Atlas. New Domino City, what say we kick this tournament into overdrive? Let's get this started! It's time we meet the lucky duelists who were selected to compete for the chance to go head-to-head -head with Mr. Atlas, the Fortune 8! Here we go! This is it! Whoa, whoa! Look at all the people! Hear it for the always mysterious Shira, the great Griger, Commander Koda, the Professor, Miss Akiza Izinski, Sir Ransborg, the lovely Miss Luna, and Yusei Fudo. Hey, dudes, that guy's got a mark. Yeah, totally. What's a satellite doing here? Who is that low life? I'll bet you anything he took someone's invitation. <laughs> <laughs> so your name's Yusei? 
Yep, now don't wear it out. That's not much of a superhero name, is it? Super what? Never mind. Who's the loser? 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 Give me that. I have to say something. My name is Griger. I know things are different in this city, but where I come from, you judge a guy on his spirit. This kid right here may have been branded by your people as a no-good, but when I look at him, all I see is a duelist. And being a duelist myself, that means I have to respect him until he gives me a reason not to. Because a duelist doesn't judge another duelist based on where he comes from, or who his family is, or how much money he has. That isn't what really matters. <laughs> Here's your mic. Uh, thank you. Thank you for those well-chosen and heartfelt words. In our world, social status and personal wealth draw a line between ourselves and our fellow man. But I had a vision of a dual tournament that would, if only for a fleeting while, remove that line. A tournament separate from the competition of life, where the haves and the have-nots could meet each other on a level playing field and prove themselves to each other and to the world. Fellow duelists, welcome to the Fortune Cup. And now, let's turn to the Bracket Shuffler and find out who's dueling who in the first match. Look, I'm dueling Gragor in the very first duel. I can take that guy. I know I can. Zigzix tells me he's got everything in order. Now we'll know for certain if the signers are who we hope they are. <laughs> Good morning, Director. Now, by aligning a neuron emulator with my energy alligator and then spinning some particles and crushing some atoms, I was able to come up with a device that could detect the mysterious power called energy. It's my most inspired invention yet! It's amazing! And fits in your purse. I give you the one and only stupendously fabulous ZigZag's creation! The Detector! By placing remote sensors all over the stadium and feeding their signal into the Detector, I'll be able to spot even the slightest energy activity. Excellent. Let's find those signers. Glad you like it. I can't believe I'm actually about to do this. You don't have like any last minute pointers for me, do ya? Yep, remember to adapt to your opponent. I could do that. Nice dash. Before we meet our first duelists, we have a quick word from our duel sponsors. If your dog's bad breath is making you sick, give him Tomatol's Mint Bone, the sparkling edible stink buster. And now, coming to us straight from the tops, a precious half-pint bundle of wonder, Little ah! Miss Luna! Oh, wow! This is incredible! I should have brought my camera! Hoping to take her down the Wall of Wallop, the Tower of Power, Griger! All right, children, play nice. Let's shake those hands. That was cool the way you just grabbed that mic and defended my friend. I want you to know it's a big time honor to be dueling you today, Mr. Greiger. If I may say so, Miss Luna, you have quite a strong grip for a young lady. Oh, yeah. That's funny, because everyone at school calls me a tomboy. Did I mention I was a cheerleader? I do not act like that. And now, it's time to start the duel. Players, activate your duel discs. Let's do it! The first move's mine. I draw. From my hand, I activate Star Blast. A spell? You're not starting with a monster? I first have to lower my monster's level by harnessing the power of Star Blast and sacrificing 500 life points. Why would you do all of that? See, my summon reactor SK is a level 5, so by taking its power down a notch, I can summon it directly to the field in attack mode. 
Yikes! It's got 2,000 attack points! That's right. I believe that one must sacrifice a little in order to gain a lot. I end my turn with a face-down card. Griger is off to a strong start. Let's see how Little Miss Luna responds. Here I go. I draw! You're not the only one off to a strong start. I summon Morphtronic Cell Phone in attack mode. <laughs> Pretty cool, don't you think? My Morphtronic tech rules, and I'm about to show you why. Before you make any more moves, I get to activate Reactor SK's special ability. Huh? Because you summoned a monster to the field, Reactor SK gets to hit you with 800 points of damage. <laughs> Incredible! Griger's monster can attack Miss Luna anytime she summons a monster! Griger was the right choice for this. His relentless tactics will have that girl showing her true colors in no time. Not bad, mister. But it's gonna take more than that to weaken my Morphtronic deck. That's right, kid. Get excited. Let's find out if you really are who Goodwin thinks you are. You keep on talking up these Morphtronics of yours, but so far, I am not impressed. Yeah, well, I'm about to impress your face! I can't watch. I'll never be able to live this down. All right, let's go, Selfon! Start dialing now! Whatever number the dial lands on, that's the number of cards from the top of my deck I get to flip over. And if the last card I flip is a level four or below Morphtronic, then I can summon it out. And we've got a two! The second card is... Oh, yeah! Get ready for Morphtronic Boomboxing! Coming at you live! When the monster card Morphtronic Boomboxin is attacked while in defense mode, that attack can be negated once per turn. Now I play a face down and end my turn. Now if he plays a monster card next round and attacks with it, boy will he ever be surprised when I flip over my face down. Cause then I'll be able to summon out this bad boy. And then I'll have him right where I want him. Still no signal! Zilch! Nothing. Come on, Luna! Any day now! We need to find out if you have the mark of the dragon. Mm. Something wrong? Just a headache. It's my turn. I draw. And from my hand, I summon Trap Reactor Wi-Fi to the field in attack mode. Oh. Trap Reactor, attack! Take out Morphtronic Cellphon! Gotcha, Griger! I activate my Morph Transition Trap card! And now I can switch myself on to defense mode and put your attack on hold! Ha! By playing your trap, you walked right into mine! It's called Trap Reactor for a reason, after all. You see, Trap Reactor reacts to your trap card activation and lays directly into you for 800 points of damage. Attack! This guy is playing a real bait-and-switch game, making Leo's moves backfire. It's almost like he's toying with Leo to get him all worked up emotionally. Don't let him get to you, Leo. That was a cheap shot. That's right. Get fired up. Goodwin says you might be a signer, so bring it on. Defeat me with the power of the Crimson Dragon. Still nothing. Maybe if... Huh? Oh. I'm not done with you yet, little girl. I've got more fight for you! Bring it! Summon Reactor SK, unplug that boom box in permanently! <sighs> it appears as if Summon Reactor SK has been grounded by boom boxing! Ha <laughs> ha! When my boom boxing's in defense mode, it's able to tune out one attack every turn! But that only allows me to use damage summon. See, after an unsuccessful attack on your monster, Damage Summon allows me to sacrifice 800 life points in order to summon a new monster. So you're sacrificing your own life points again? I am, and next I summon Spell Reactor RE to the field. Wait, 
When your opponent activates a spell card, Spell Reactor RE destroys that card and deals 800 points of damage once per turn. You might not like the sound of this, but Spell Reactor RE beat down that boom boxing! My tooth! Ah! I place one card face down and end my turn. Finally, he's done. At least I was able to keep self on around. Because as long as it's still in play, I can use it to summon Gadget Hauler next. And once I do that, it'll be game over for Griger. He's still focusing on combos he likes. He's not adapting. You don't seem very rattled. Don't you realize that I've backed you into a corner? Huh? I've got all three of my reactor monsters on my field. You've already brought direct damage on yourself by summoning out monsters and triggering trap cards. So what power do you think this next reactor monster possesses? Seems obvious to me. Of course! If I use a spell, I'll take direct damage from Spell Reactor RE. And because of the other two, if I summon a monster or activate a trap, I'll get nailed too. Not good. Uh... That's right. Every duelist needs to be able to summon monsters and activate, activate traps, traps and spells. And spells. But, but if, if you, you do, do any, any of that, that you're, you're going to bring damage onto yourself. I could spend the rest of the duel doing nothing but watching you chip away at your own life points every time you try to do something. Don't get scared. I'm still not getting any signal whatsoever! Maybe the girl's just not a signer. We've conducted an investigation. We have every reason to believe she is. Your job is to find us the hard proof we need, Zigzix. You can do that, can't you? Mm -hmm. There is one anomaly I should probably mention. The sensor has detected a faint signal emanating from the stands. From the stands? And not from Luna? Are you okay? Should we get you to a dock? I'm fine. It's just a little headache. So every time I make a move, I'm gonna lose 800 life points. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. No, I just have to adapt. You're going down! Finally, she's getting fired up. Get angry, kid. Show me that mark. I've never tried this before, but here goes. This next round determines everything. It's my move. Now I draw and activate self on special ability. Dial now! When Morphtronic Cellphone is in defense mode, it randomly dials a number and allows you to look at the same number of cards from the top of your deck as the number selected. What's it gonna be? It's a three! And I can look at three cards! Sweet! I've got more Morphtronics on the way. I think I can win this! I switch Cellphone into attack mode! Gotta be able to bust out Morphtronic Datatron. Come on. One. One. All right! There we go! Ha! I summon Morphtronic Datatron in attack mode! Is it getting worse, Luna? I can't tell. I just feel really weak. Your life points don't stand a chance against me, little girl. Cause no matter what card you play, you're taking damage. These reactors of Griger have got Luna pinned to the wall. I can't watch, and yet I can't look away. This is it. By um, releasing a monster on my field, I can activate Datatron's special power, which will burn you with 600 points of direct damage. So I release self on. All right. So far, so good. And now, I release Datatron in order to advance Summon Gadget Hauler! <laughs> Ta-da! Now, unless I'm mistaken, I won't take any damage because Summon Reactor's special ability only works once a turn, right? Hmm. I was wondering why he risked another summon. That was a good call. Leo needs to stay focused now and not go crazy or break loose. Time to break loose! From my hand, I release Morphtronic Magnet! Now whenever I send one of my Morphtronics from my hand to the graveyard, Gadget Hauler gains 800 attack points! That a girl. 
Come at me with everything you've got. Next, I activate the Factory of 100 Machines spell. And with the power of this card, I'm able to remove every Morphtronic in my graveyard from play. What's this all about? It appears as if four of Luna's Morphtronic monsters are hitchhiking a ride with Gadget Hauler. For every machine type monster catching a ride with it, Gadget Hauler gains 200 attack points. So now, it's got a whopping 2,900! The activation of that spell card brings you one step closer to certain defeat. Spell Reactor, attack! And that leaves you with only 800 life points, little girl. One more move and you're finished. No, not if I attack. You don't have a battle reactor. Gadget Hauler, take out his trap reactor Wi-Fi! Yeah! Griger had 2,100 life points. If this attack worked, then your bro might have a chance. Go, Leo! There you are! <laughs> yes. Did it work? <laughs> you may be small, but you have a warrior spirit. As a warrior myself, I salute your strength! Well, thanks, I guess, but how come you're not, like, damaged? Because of the Delta Reactor Trap card. What does that do? By sending Summon Reactor, Trap Reactor, and Spell Reactor to the graveyard, I can negate your attack and activate Delta Reactor, and use Flying Fortress Skyfire to summon a Reign of Doom! It looks like Krieger has activated the Fatal Trap card! This duel might be over! Could Luna be our first loser? Ah! I activate Flying Fortress Skyfire's special ability! And with this, I can send a card to my graveyard in order to obliterate one card on your field! Victory is mine! And now you're wide open for a direct attack! Ah! It's over! Griger will be advancing to the second round and Luna will be getting a gift basket. I can't believe I lost. Man, this stinks! Too bad. He doing well, though. Huh. What is it? My headache's gone. Just like that. Bravo, Mr. Greiger. That was quite an explosive duel. <laughs> Your intel's bad. You said you were looking for a girl. That kid was obviously a boy. It seems we were the victims of a little identity prank. Twins. Twins. The detector wasn't picking up any energy from the kid dueling, but I did end up getting a signal. It was coming from this girl in the stands. So now we just have to push her to her limits. 